Hello, this is Coach Andy. Let's look at um, actually it's game eight. Hold on, this is game eight. Yes, I think so. Yeah, game eight of the World Championship match. And yeah, I'm sorry, I just kind of like going backwards. Okay, so we did game nine yesterday, and today we go to the game eight. Yeah, um, yeah, I only look at the winning game or losing game. Okay, so this word, yeah, Carson is white and Nepal is black. So basically, the game starts with the, yeah, some call Russia opening, some call Petrov opening, doesn't matter the name. Just e4, e5, knight f3, knight f6. Okay, it's a very symmetric opening, and uh, of course, yeah, um, for beginner. It's very easy to make a mistake, like you take, he take, then you at least losing a pawn. After you, yeah, if you kind of like, if you try to save your knight going backwards, then a check you will lose the queen. So the game finished very, very quick in the beginning, at the beginning level. But of course, at their level, it's impossible. This will not, it never happen. <coughs> and the usual move, of course, you take, he will kick you first, then he take this knight pawn. Okay, so that's, let's see the game, how the game is going. Uh, here Carlson actually introduced uh, kind of like a move from the Scots. Okay, Scots game or Scots gambit, basically he pushed a d4 pawn, tried to challenge this pawn right away. And not trying to protect this pawn at all. And uh, this is some idea. And But yeah, let's see what can happen. Basically we want to remove this pawn. And the black take, so just like Scotch, he takes this pawn, so he will move the D pawn, protect the knight. Now we attack knight, he move the D pawn, protect the knight, then we take the pawn, it's kind of symmetric. Now, when there is a pawn, I'm sorry, when there is a knight, kind of like close to you, right, it's parking your parking lot, so usually you want to get rid of it, same thing for this knight. White won't get rid of it. So here, black just asking for exchange. Let's exchange. Okay, white take, black take. Now white ask for exchange. Black take, white take. And black go here. Now it's coming back to symmetric. So you, you look at this line, it's, it's very, very interesting. Okay, so it's uh, kind of like a two bishop in the middle. Yeah, both are, very, both are equally powerful, looking at two diagonals. And um, Queen also in the middle, and two rook not getting out. Okay, now let's see. Somebody need to break up the symmetric. Okay, so it cannot be symmetric forever. Usually, yeah, um, black should find a chance to break it because if you're waiting for white to break it, white usually will find a very good opportunity for him to break this magic so you don't wait too much okay white castle black here moving the pawn okay this is a kind of like a popular move okay so in the high level it's kind of like testing okay so I push the pawn what do you do right and um, so taking more space of course first it's taking some space away so like set up this maybe and uh, yeah, and uh, we also ready to maybe leave the rook there, castle that side, that's also possible. So there's a lot of choice, yeah, maybe we will do pawn storming, let's push two pawn up, then we definitely will castle that side. Okay, so, but this pushing the pawn also have one problem, yet the king still stay in the middle. So that's a kind of like issue, not big issue, white here just test black also let's let's do a check see what will black do okay usually of course you should block with bishop or block with this bishop I think yeah this bishop block may be more common but block with bishop there will be some issue maybe white will just push the pawn right away okay now this you have to worry about he had to castle but if he castles this pawn push is kind of like a weird okay so because no support right so here Black actually just move the king. So prepare to manually castle, maybe move up and try to do this way. That's possible, getting out. 
or maybe just leave it there, supporting the pawn here, pushing down. And uh, that's all fine, okay, so it's not like uh, totally bad or it's good, it's, uh, it's just something you move away from the center. Okay, so now let's see, well, white want to exchange out with the bishop, queen go here, let's do more exchange, he take, queen take, so far it's fine, now queen go here, it's uh, not exactly symmetrical, right? Dark square bishop moves, exchange it away, white has a light square bishop, black has a light square bishop. Uh, usually, yeah, when we consider bishop, light... White light bishop may be a little better than this bishop if we talk about a good bishop, bad bishop, because this pawn is light square. The bishop is, yeah, this pawn may be light square. He may push this pawn also in the future. So this bishop become bad bishop. This here, white bishop is good bishop. After he push pawn, yeah, this bishop can go anywhere. So this is good. Okay, now, but this is a very, very minor issue. Okay, so, but pay attention to them. And after we accumulate small um, advantage, it may become bigger advantage. Now e file, right? Most both people maybe you want to grab the e file. So here, black grab it right away. White contest it. Yeah, I want e file. Why you want to hold it by yourself? Now this move is um, problematic. Okay, from my point of view, um, yeah. Basically, yeah, this e file face to each other but it's vertical, right? Everything vertical. If you try to develop rook horizontal, you lift the rook, uh, usually you need to find a place to attack. Okay, like here or here or something. Okay, you cannot go here first, okay? So that's not possible. So you don't have, I'm not sure, um, if you have one rook going this way, another rook going this way, usually it's that kind of like, um, lead to disaster okay you should not like in the end game especially in the end game when you checkmate the king right two rooks should go the same direction okay then do the rolling or steps uh, yeah those kind of mate okay not going this way and this way that's not good strategy okay so but anyway he go up here now of course he needs to stay with the pawn that's another issue okay so now let's see going up um, not sure exactly what's basically he just told black don't move the rook I want your pawn okay now push the pawn up yeah as I said after you push it up you can see this bishop is bad bishop so that's an issue now white exchange the rook take take move the rook out now he control the D and E file um, here, of course, if you want exchange, maybe it's possible because there's a back rank. Okay, after we take, take, yeah, you have no time to take the bomb. You have to defend the back rank. And uh, maybe that should, yeah, maybe he should do that. And, but I think we can lift the rook to, to somewhere. Okay. Now let's see, he does this, try to exchange the queen. Why say no? I don't want exchange right now. It's well lead to the drawish position, basically. Uh, my bishop is better, at least. So let's come back. Protect the pawn also. Okay, so with dark square, you can see dark square, white is very, very comfortable. You cannot do anything. Okay, black, yeah, it's, it's also attacking the bishop. It gets a temple. Now we start pushing pawn. Try to, oh, oh we push this first, sorry. Uh, control that square so nobody can come down and the black I think the black push down also taking more space yeah because light square very get very easy to get attacked putting dark square is better and um, but of course if you put in dark square you also need a piece to protect it now this is a very normal move we kind of like settle down this we this side we cannot do anything so we start doing something in the middle let's try to take out that d5 pound that's kind of dep depressing us so he take we take back now this bishop has much better scope than this bishop okay this bishop doing nothing now next move is total blunder um yeah, this is not like the blunder. I don't call it the biggest blunder. It's a, it's a blunder. Okay, so um, yeah, it's a, it's a not like 
the last year, game nine, he made a very beginner blunder. This is more than beginner, but it's definitely blunder. It's he tried to attack the bishop. Now he forgets about this diagonal, basically. And uh, it's very beautiful for Magnus just pick up the pawn like this. Okay, so he go here, check, go here, protect, got pick up the pawn and protect this pawn, okay, somehow. And also attack the bishop. If you take my bishop, I take your bishop, you have double double isolated pawn here. I, my queen is still protect the pawn. That's the beauty of this move. Okay, so check, he go in, take the pawn. And here black just go in, protect the bishop. Um, I'm thinking going here may be better than going this way. Okay, so he may worry about the back rank. So he wants defending the back rank. Now we move the bishop back. Quick look from here, attacking the pawn. So potentially he will move the bishop and get, the, get some pawn back. Okay, we down a pawn now. And here we lift the rook. Now he moved the bishop. Now it's just exchange. After exchange, white is control the position. Okay, so yeah, only up a one pawn. But he has a very good position because this pawn is overextended already. And this is kind of too weak pawn. And uh, so white just coming back, pick up some pawn, going back. He tried to attack right away. Now here it's a decision. Okay, we need to exchange some pawn. Okay, we cannot hold all six pawns. It's important for we to protect all six pawns. Let's simplify, exchange away something. Okay, so he takes this pawn first because he has this move. And that's kind of like a temple. And uh, maybe white should go this, but it's uh, but then we will take this pawn. Okay, so either way we will get another pawn. So he come here, check, we go up, he take this pawn, we take the pawn, check, he move. Now this is just something like uh, be very, very careful moving around, check, he go back, then move the pawn up, let black take another pawn. And if he take that pawn, we may be able to get this pawn, that's good enough. Okay, so he took, then we do a check, he move out, we pick up the pawn. Okay, so far it's fine, we up two pawn here. And usually up two pawn is a win. Now the most difficult part is how can we stop him check, right? We don't want him getting into this diagonal. He come back once getting into the diagonal. It's not possible to stop everything. Okay, there's a check here, here, here. And after he check, he may go here, check. So Magnus just moving the queen here, stop this diagonal right away. Now he go back, I think attacking this pawn again. And uh, now we do some check, go back, now we move the queen back, protect both pawn, and we'll support this pawn push down, but we gave up this diagonal, so that's something. So he come back again, try to get the diagonal. Now what do we do? We go, we go here. So that's kind of interesting. So basically I will allow this one check. After I come back, then no more check. So he did. We go back. He moved the king. Now we come back, check again. Here, I think maybe he should stay. Okay, but if he stay, we will push the pawn. Maybe you have this move. That's, that's it. Then we will go back and try to push the pawn up slowly. Okay, so it's not very easy for him to hold. So basically, black just kind of takes some risk. Let me push my pawn and... Uh, Expose white king. Check and push pawn again. Now white push pawn. He push pawn again. Take. And he push another pawn. Of course you cannot, uh, I think you cannot take this. If you take this, you lose up one pawn and check. And uh, maybe it's still fine, but our queen need to hold on three pawn and uh, also stop black queen check. That's not a very easy task. So Magnus actually did this. Basically stop the want exchange. If you check me here or here, it doesn't matter. I'll push the move the king up. Now you see this queen is still protect every pawn. That's very, very important. We should kind of like try to feel it. How do we protect everything? Guarding all the square. That's very important. Yeah. You can give me a check here. <coughs> I come up, you go back, check. Okay, then we will take the pawn. Now we pick up a four, it's four pawn plus queen versus queen and a king. 
Um, very easy for white to find a way to exchange the queen. So here at this time, yeah, just Nepal just threw in the tower. There are no way. Yeah, it's not kind of like a fighting, continue fighting, and not good anymore. So it's an yeah, it's kind of like sportsmanship, right? If you 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 know you will lose. It's kind of like try to get the draw from this kind of position is not really ideal case. Okay, so he just resigned here at this moment. So the big blunder in this game actually is a very subtle one. Um, actually not sub too subtle. Okay, it's just tactic. So after we exchange, oh hold on, not this way here. Here this one right at this moment. The pawn push. Okay, so basically we drop this pawn. Okay, it's uh, of course it's take two more to get the pawn, but it's tactic. Most yeah, at their level they should be able to see it. And uh, so push pawn is not good, but what can they do? So that's another question, right? If you don't push pawn, maybe you can move the king first. Okay, hiding the king. Yeah, avoid the check. Maybe that's the most important thing. Don't let white checking you then we can do something later just move the king and uh, queen d6 that's also avoid the check so a6 basically is trying to protect this pawn by pushing forward but of course if you push forward you have to worry about this pawn okay anyway so that's uh, some lesson we learn, right? So don't blunder. If this is blunder, blunder away a pawn is also kind of like uh, life threatening, okay? For their level. For us, maybe it's fine, it's just a pawn. And for, for them, yeah, you it's either you live or die. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the game. We uh, we are having right now the points. I think it's six point five versus three point five. We have four more games. Yeah, uh, we will see the next game uh, on December tenth. I think. Yeah. So let's watch and um, wish for best for Nipo. I'm not sure he can come back. It's very very unlikely. But let's for the best, right? I, I, actually, I hope the Nepal can win the match before the match started. But nothing. Yeah, my wish is my wish. It's not happening right now. Okay, so let's see. Okay, thank you. I see you next time.